Hello, come back here. This episode is a response to a request from Toby Wallach, who requested some details about Animar Hoverbloom seeds and Pink Pufferfish. I haven't heard about it, to be honest. I did my research, I checked it out. I know that Toby wanted me to give you some specific profit potentials here. It's not gonna happen, but I'm going to describe you what I found out and hopefully maybe someone, if you are stubborn enough, maybe someone will decide to take it over from here and bring additional informations to us back. Maybe. Okay, so in Animar there are two zones that are interesting and they have some kind of mini game attached to them. First one is located far north in Animar and there are some kind of purple spheres over there with growing flowers on them and you need to pick up hover bloom collector that will grant you a ability to jump on those purple spheres and pick up those flowers there and once you collect your hover bloom flower it will take away 100 labor points from you and reward you with basic hover bloom seed plus a chance to get a treasure map. This is exactly what happened to me. I've got a rare treasure map and I was like super hyped because oh man, if this gives me treasure maps and I get arcane or heroic one, then it has a huge money making potential, right? Correct, but sadly it happens in my first try and I tried several times to collect additional seeds and nope, no other maps. And having this Hover bloom seed is not a must, but you definitely should take it with you and get north from Tadpole Headfield, where there's a fish stand located there on a giant leaf, some sort of. And once you end up on it, you will end up in a school of fish area that's already champed, let's say it. It's perma champed. You don't need to use your own chum, you can just start fishing there, sport fishing, and start catching pink puffer fishes. That's what I did. If if we have a location that's perma champed, there's a fish stand that you are just right next to it. So it means that this spot is perfect for leveling fishing, but how about making money? And what's what's the story behind this hover bloom seed? I've bought red lures and spent a lot of labor here. Managed to get around 25 pink puffer fishes. Most of them were small, some were medium, and there was there was one gargantuan. So you can say that I've managed to catch the best and worst fish and I can tell you how much money this gives me and you can imagine how not profitable this is. So it turns out that those small fishes and medium fishes they were bought around from 3 to 4 gold minus the 60 silver it means that per 100 labor points spent I've earned around 2.5 gold that's like total disappointment, absolute garbage. And this Gargantuan was, well, <laughs> well, it was a big, but also big disappointment because it was around six to seven gold, I think. So, well, if you are out there just to make money from fishing, this is the spot that you, you should totally avoid. Okay, and what about this basic hover bloom seeds that I'm keeping in my inventory? Well, the thing is that there's some chance that while you are fishing those pink puffer fishes, there will be additional monster spawn, uh, some kind of treasure mimic, and it has a chance to drop MC Garu multi tools, another item that can be combined with the seed. And by using it, and I think you need add additional gold to it, when you combine it, you will get a higher grade of the seed, and higher grade of the seed is worth more at general merchant. So. Eventually you can pull it up to like, I don't know, maybe legendary hover bloom seed and get few hundreds of gold from it. But with the current chance and, you know, some people already described it, Gizmo and Turambare Dolas from official forums, they shared some insights on it. And it seems like one out of 100 fishes might have a chance of spawning this mimic, which might have a chance of dropping MC Garu multi tools. So all in all, it's a huge waste of time. It's not money efficient, it's terrible in terms of silver per labor. And the only thing that I was getting from it was enough money to keep buying the lures and level up my fishing proficiency. And believe me, there are other better ways of doing so and they might even reward you with gold. So no thank you, I don't want to fish here. 
and I think the best thing that you can do right now when you find this uh, basic hover bloom seed is to just sell it to the vendor. Doing so will grant you 10 gold and you can forget about this mini game here because it's not worth your time. But again, if, if some of you had patience to fish longer in this area and get more of those, get those treasure mimics, if you have any experiences you might want to share with us, please do so in the comments below. And that's it from me. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, comment or subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and see you later.